Alright guys, let me give you a story. A scary story for tonight. So, a couple years ago, when I was young on my bike, I, w I would love to ride my bike. Like, or a scooter, or anything. And back then, I liked cars. So, pretty much, I loved cars so much, I would, every time I would go to the store or anything, I would ask my mom for Hot Wheels. But, little did I know, one day, on my bike, my life would change. So, when I was in the car, we moved home, and we moved to Michigan, and it was snowing. And, so, with that, there was dry ice on the road, or, no, black ice on the road, or some random snow patches. So, I would be sitting in the back seat, because when you're in the car, it's hard to sleep, for me, that is. Some people, it's not. So, I finally get to sleep, and then my car spun out off the road. I thought I was going to die because right behind us, a semi-truck, basically a Volvo VNL 2020, I believe, and so pretty much what happened was we spun out, we crashed, we got stuck, and my dad was going into a job interview, so that's why we moved out of Ohio into Michigan. Now, it was a four-hour drive. I was cooped up in the car. I had nothing to do. Because back then, I didn't have a phone. And I didn't know what semi-truck hunting was. So, just sit there, look out the window the whole time, and act like I'm bored to death. So, I almost died that one. And now, let me give you another story. So, when you're younger, you would always think that something would be moving. That's what I would think. All, when I was very young, I would look into my closet and see a bunch of things that looked like Slenderman and Slenderina. So, pretty much... I was scared out to death all the time because I would literally just stare at them, stare at them, and just stare at them. Literally all night until I moved them around and I finally able to sleep. But little did I know, something scarier would even happen. So, a couple months ago, I would be sitting on my bike. At night, I'm about to leave and just go for a quick bike ride. But then a police chase was going on. A guy looks at me with a, with a baseball bat and throws a baseball bat at me. And I thought I was going to die. But a police officer then saved, saved me. And it was one of the scariest moments of my life. Now, I didn't want to tell my mom, because then she was going to get too into it and not believe me. So I decided I'm not going to tell her anything about it. Which was probably a bad idea, because they could have helped me. But So yeah, another story, which is one I found online. So, two kids walking into the forest. They were in their mid-high school. They were in their high school. And there were, there were like a couple 15 or 17 year olds. And they say one of them was possessed by Slenderman. Most of the guys, you know the story, but some people don't. 
Now, what the urban legend is, is that Slenderman as possessed a little girl and asked her to kill her best friend. Which he did. Since Slenderman said, if you don't, you will die. And she didn't want to die, so she took no hesitation and stabbed her with a stick. Now, she instantly regrets it till this day, but she is still in jail for the murder of Elizabeth. This urban legend is very popular still to this day. Slenderman is still a myth, and a new myth that has been out for a while, but got, got very famous, is the back rooms. Literally, I would go onto YouTube Shorts and see a bunch of videos on how to survive the back rooms with all these levels. And I'm like, why would I need to know this if the back rooms isn't real? Until I thought to myself, what if the back rooms isn't real? And I take my phone and I wonder, what's the Wi-Fi password? No, seriously. Like, what's, like, what's the Wi-Fi password? So, that's why I come to think like, when you're in the back rooms, five minutes is a whole 20 years. That's what I have been told. I don't believe that, but I believe it's the same time. But one person, it was 2019, he got out, it was 2022. They might even not even be in the United States. They could be in Ukraine, Russia, Germany, UK. They could be literally anywhere in the world when they get out. And they probably don't even know where their family is. Which they probably don't have money, which means they can't fly back home. But the back rooms does give you a bunch of money after completing it. So you might be able to find your parents, but it's going to be a very, very long time before you do. That's going to be doing it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed Please sure to like and subscribe and have a safe and fantastic time.